scratch my back So how did taxes come out, babe? No comment. We thought we were gonna be rich today. It turned out to be the opposite. We're D rich. D rich. Hanging around here till the judgment day. Finally coming back up. The headliners, you mean. Alright, are we rolling here? Have we rolling yet? We're rolling. Alright, I mean these folks just armed us now. We're gonna do the target practice. We're trying to shoot that crow off the fence. Oh, got one. Got him. Alrighty. I don't know. You missed. Aim at the little black hole below. That was thirty dollars worth of ammunition. <laughs> Am I going to be charged for this? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it goes on your phone. Oh, let me try the beer bottle. bottle. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Now I got it. I got the range now. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it needs to be sighted in. Yeah. All it right. needs a little sighting action. So all you cruising folks, don't go off without one of these. Don't buy a cheap don't go, gun. Don't go. Make sure you can <laughs> sight it in well. <laughs> don't go cruising without one of these Colt 45 specials. In, <laughs> in orange. Yeah, in orange. It's going to be orange. Are we delighted yeah. that we So what did you do, babe? I tied the same knot without running the line through the leader twice now. <laughs> this will be reasons why we time. don't eat fish. Third time's a charm. Let's not do it again. Let's do this first. Okay, I'll, I'll grab. How many people does it take to tie on a lure? And it's just so hard to tie a knot with that 15 pound power pro. Now done. Speak. Good, speak. Roll over. Roll over. Good, speak. That's the only trick I know. Really 
until we pulled the port lights, or pulled the uh, wood off so we can put the port lights in. And we got it all bagged off in here so we don't get dust everywhere. But this is where we're putting the port lights in. Stacy's outside, tracing it out. And those are the port lights we're gonna put in. First port light in. Woo woo! Looks good. You can actually see the clouds. In the sunset. And the dog. On to the other side. One port light in, and one almost done being cut. Just have the back end to do on the corners, and we're ready to put in our wood. Woo woo! Stacy's just tracing out the pattern for the wood inside so we can cut the port lights in. And that's what they will look like afterwards. One's open right now. One doesn't open. One's fixed. But this after one opens. And same thing on the other side. Dusty's going everywhere, and I'm hungry, and I want to bark at people, and I can't because there's too many noises on the boat, and I can't even sleep. anti seas With new port lights. With new port lights. And breathe. Today's project. We Leaners. We, <laughs> we are... Leaners and beer. Leaners and beer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to what I was saying. We are going to be taking out the bulkhead. <laughs> so this boat didn't have a, any kind of ground tackle system, anchor roller, windlass, anchor locker, etc., chain locker. So we're making our own small part here to load the chain in. So when the chain comes through the deck, it has a place to sit rather than sliding down the radius of the bow and into the bilge. 
So all epoxy. We just used some cheap plywood for the core and uh, three layers of roving on each side and we angled it so it guides the chain down into the where it needs to sit rather than falling out. So. What you doing? Um. Being the smallest <laughs> person. Yeah. To fit, uh, to put the nuts on our anchor roller. Yeah. It's a pain in the butt, and this is like 18th time up here, but luckily it's gonna be finally mounted. It will have to be up there very much longer. Yep. Yeah. Nice, yeah. nice butt. Putting a light in the V berth here. Oh, fun. The old light on the old bulkhead was kind of screwy, so I'm gonna put a little recessed light in. Oh, look it. So Stacy's just finishing up the wiring to it, and I'll screw the headliner back up, and it'll be a light. And Let it'll there look be light. really nice in here. Thank you.